Welcome everyone. Today's video is very special. We are honored to present you a session on knowing anatomy with Professor Dr. Trilokpati Thapa, Head of Department of Anatomy in Nepalese Army Institute of Health Sciences. In today's episode, our loving professor would be answering most of our queries on anatomy. Sir, please tell us something about yourself. Well, Samna, I'm just a simple man down to earth and uh, average student. I did my MBBS way back in 1979 from Calcutta. And then I did my master's MS from CMC Fellow in 1987. I am married and my better half is housewife. I have two children. They're happily married and settled. Now I live in Shamakoshi with my wife. How did you get into anatomy and what does this subject mean to you? We have asked two parts of a question. The first part is that my entry to anatomy was accidental. Actually, I had come here to Kathmandu for the winning ceremony of my daughter during my house job in orthopedics. My senior, Professor Bolara Joshi, was working in Institute of Medicine. And then suddenly he called me and said that, please take one class for anatomy because the professor then Professor late SK Dakta hadn't come back from his vacation. So I had to take one class in the Institute of Medicine to a batch of 22 students. Then when I finished my class and came out, Professor Hemangdiji, he was dean, encouraged me to join anatomy. And he offered me full WHO fellowship. That's how I went to anatomy and I have been teaching anatomy for the last 40 years. Now it is the 40th batch going in the Institute of Medicine. Now regarding the second part, you said the importance to me personally. Honestly speaking, for me anatomy is my prestige and pride and also bread and butter because nationally or internationally whenever I go around I meet my students and I'm so happy to find them doing extremely good whether it is their family life or their professional life. And then we have some time get together and there I get my prize. So the dividends are paying slowly. Sir, please tell our freshers about the importance of anatomy. Anatomy for freshers. To me, it is very, very essential because without anatomy, we cannot have growth and development of the students in medical education. So literally speaking, you can say it is the integral part of the medical education. So, you know, something like, uh, if I want to tell you literally, is something like a foundation of a building. When you build a house, you must have foundation or the alphabets to write any words. So without knowing the words or without having any foundation, you cannot go further. How hard is anatomy for beginners? Oh, anatomy is very tough for most of the students because if you look at the words in anatomy, most of the words are derived either from Greek or from Latin. That is why, you know, you have to learn those difficult words. On top of that, our media of learning is English. And I have found many of our students, the language being the main barrier rather than the factual details. So I find that because of the language and because of the foreign language, that is Greek and Latin, it becomes quite tough on top of the factual details. Based on your experiences, we would like to know how important is anatomy for upcoming clinical years? In clinical year, the clinicians teach you how to examine the patient or you do on-hand surgical procedures. And every time 
each and every time you are using the knowledge of anatomy. For example, if you are auscultating the heartbeat, apex of the heart is anatomy. If you are doing a surgical procedure, appendicectomy, then the steps you are cutting are anatomy. So to me, without anatomy, you, you cannot be a physician or a surgeon. How should a newcomer approach anatomy? Oh, this is a million dollar question. Uh, to me, if you ask honestly, the students, they should focus in a delineated methods. That means it should be precise and quantity oriented. Okay. To, I have found many of us, we try to listen to the lectures or follow a standard textbook. But I would like to tell my professors that it is the curriculum that is very, very important. The content of the curriculum you have to follow. While following the cur curriculum, you can refer either your guide or your tutor or any textbooks. There are many, many good textbooks that take it, take it as reference book. Books or any study materials that you would like to suggest? Books, as I said, are reference materials for in our innovative education. In the olden days, it used to be a professor oriented teaching learning activities, but now it is innovative in innovative methods, it is student centered activities. So, student has to learn. It's not the teacher who teaches, but the student has to learn. For learning, you need your own notes, you need your own concept. And for that, I would rather tell you to have make your own note so that by, by consulting different textbooks or by consulting your seniors or consulting your guide, but only reading one book, I will not suggest. Sir, would you please elaborate importance of dissection, histology and osteology demonstration classes? Well, 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 our profession is a skill-oriented profession and time and again it has been proved that just by listening you can impress only 7%. Rest of the thing, it is by doing on hand. And practicals are a must in medical education. On top of that, now when I say, what is the importance of demonstration for histology and for de dissection, you can see that if you don't demonstrate, if you don't dissect, then it won't be efficient or effective learning. That is long lasting. So to make a long lasting learning and then you have to go through the practicals. That is the importance of the practical. On top of that, during the practicals, one becomes independent because you are doing on your own. So from dependency to make you independent, practicals are a must. In your opinion, how can one make the best use of such classes? My request to all the freshers is that Please don't be dependent and don't go for the spoon feeding. Get the task from your tutor or your facilitator or your guide or your professor and you do the task on your own. I repeat, you have to be independent because ultimately when you are practicing, you have to practice independently. So I request you to do it on your own. Get the task or the guiding instructions from your tutors. Sir, you have seen and known so many students during these four decades of your teaching experience. What do you think are the mistakes that newcomers are likely to make while studying during basic sciences? Oh, in our innovative education, there are six subjects in the basic medical science. And what I have found is that the students in the beginning, they try to follow all the textbooks that is available and are given by the department. And then, in many circumstances, I have found them burdened, overburdened by the factual details. And then, some of them even had to consult the psychiatrist. So, my request is that to overcome this, you must be familiar with the curriculum. Please go through the curriculum, be familiar with the curriculum, and just follow the curriculum in a delineated methods. What would you suggest to overcome such situations? As I said earlier, to overcome these factual details, the only way is you start making your own notes. 
by referring different books. And then that note has to be your own. And if you do that, that will give you confidence even for your exam, for evaluation. Anatomy seems very easy during general system and it grows into sudden vastness and coming into musculoskeletal and neurosensory system. So how can students be prepared for this big leap? What are your views on this? I don't agree with you because I find that in the beginning, in the general, because in the general is one, you know, topic, one subject, one portion that deals you know, with everything. It's like cocktail. So some of the students, they get lost because you are, you are taught there the joint, I mean, you are taught there the t tissues and the cartilage and all that. And then you are lost. But when you overcome that, you know, you, you started getting small things and then you overcome that. Then the MSc starts, okay? So when the MSk starts, and then some of the students, what they find is they have to go in details for muscles origin, insertion, and all that, and they become nervous. So that is the reason I think you find MSK more difficult. But I say this is for some students, but mostly in the beginning, students, when they have to read so many varieties of things in the general, they are also nervous. So to me, each and every system is important. Sir, as we all know, exams have always been a major concern for medical students since day one. Could you please have your say on this topic of performing well during exams? Performance in exam is one of the deep-rooted diseases in our, among the students. I find we Nepalese, we try to cramp factual details only at the end, at the, just before the exam, but we don't study during the throughout the year. My suggestion to you is anatomy is volatile. If you do that, you'll just pass somehow, but you'll not have the long lasting knowledge that is needed as a clinician. So my request to you is instead of asking for a good marks in the exam, if you are sincere and if you are hard work, if you do hard work during your theory and practical classes during the IPMS days, first two years, I think the exam will be cakewalk for you. So you read regularly and then there will be in anatomy particularly, there will be always assessment. Either that might, might be internal or that might be added to the final exam, but the assessment will be there and you have to be regular with your studies. On this last segment, we would like to have your suggestions or words of wisdom for our freshers. My suggestion to our students is that, the freshers is that, you know, I find now the new generation, the plus two students, very, very dependent. And they want notes from their professor or from their tutors or the guide. And then they, they, they don't want to be independent. So my humble request to you all is that, please be independent. Do it on your own. Create your own notes by looking at different books. And then that will remain with you and that will be long lasting. I repeat this. So I want my young graduates to be independent, you know, so that they can do it on their own. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your valuable time and words. Your insights on anatomy would definitely inspire upcoming freshers. I personally would like to express my gratitude to you on being so welcoming and so supportive to my new initiative. Thank you, sir.